hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel fancy vlogs with grace so today i'm going to be showing you how to do a very simple yet very like out there look um but before we get started don't forget to like share and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified every time i post a new video let's get started okay so First, we are going to start off by doing our eyes. So for our eyes, here's the really simple look. So basically, I already pre-primed my eyes. I mean my eyes. So I am taking my Yes I Can by Essence palette, and I'm just going to use Take It Easy, and I'm also going to be using my Essence brush. And I'm just going to apply it all over right here. Okay. So I'm going to do this more. Okay. We're going to be taking a teensy little bit of Make It Happen. And the brush we are going to be using is my Ulta Beauty brush. I know it says brow, um, but I like to use it for that. So, we're going to take Make It Happen, and we're just going to apply it on the inside of our eyes. That looks really cute. I'm just going to... Next, after that, we are going to be going in with, a, with some liner. Okay. So I like to use my, this and some black eyeshadow for this. So I just like to take it, dip it in the black eyeshadow, pull my lid down and line my little lower lash line. Kind of like that, make it entirely black, okay. And then, after we do that, I like to dip it in once again. And by the way, the palette I'm using is Found Eyeshadow Palette. And I am taking the color Raven, which is this color right here. Beautiful color. And the brush I'm using is my Angled Essence Brush it's to just line both my water lines. Okay. Now, what you're going to want to do is, I'm going to zoom in a little closer for this, is you're going to, oh, yay, you can see all my freckles. You're going to take the angle part and just kind of like, you're going to take this part right here and you're going to dip it in the black. And then you're really just going to kind of like go down and that way it like it's almost like a tiger eye effect that it creates like kind of like cat eye but not and then just line your um lid a little bit with this with the black shadow okay okay you're good now and then you're just gonna dip it in do a thin little line. Okay. Okay. Now that we're done with this eye, we are going to. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, now that we have this part done, we're going to move on to lashes. So I like to take my So Fierce for lashes, and it's by Revlon. 
a very good mascara. Comment down below what other makeup tutorials you want to see me do. Like, different types of liner. Um, I can do, I don't know, what else do you want? Let me see. And, okay, my hair base is from Dolph Cleanup. It is Friday. Uh, comment down below what else, what other Victoria Mishra videos you want to see. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to start with this completely in my natural lashes. So a way to make your brows look nice and natural is I like to use my Ulta Beauty brow, brow like wheel and then my angled essence brush and then I just take it. Here's what I like to do. I like to go like this and I like to take it and I pull it across so that I know that they're even. And then I just kind of go like that a little. Okay. Create a little line. I know I look horrible right now. Don't worry. And then I'm going again with this other one. Line. Okay. Like this. This is how you want. You, this is how, about how you want it to look. And then dip some more in there and take it. Um, if you want to, you can just take another brush, lay it, lie it down, and then like that. And then, okay, now that we have that all filled out, I like to, I like to just take this brush and Fill it in, fill in the brows, okay? And this is a very easy, like, if you do this, it will make your brows turn out so even and so nice looking like you woke up with them, like, looking like this. And I'll be like, yeah, I did, when in reality, you're like, or maybe you did. But for those of you guys who fill in, you'll be like, of course I woke up like this. And you have to be like, no, I didn't. So, okay. And then just pull it out a little. Take it again. Make sure it's all even. This one's a little shorter. There we go. Okay, next. We're gonna take a makeup wipe and you're just gonna wanna remove it. Like, whoosh, just go, go like this, okay? Okay. Okay, next, we are going to go in with our, um, my melon, my melon. I don't remember how to pronounce this. I forget every single time. I don't know why, but it's our concealer and perfect perfector. So I like to just take so I like to just take a dot and then put like two dots on my cheek on my cheeks. And then I take four dots on my head, a dot on my nose, a dot on my cupid's bow, and then a couple dots on my chin. And I swoop it up and just make sure I have everything done. Okay. And then I rub my hands together for color. Um, in from my uh, essence palette. It's called o Ola Rio, I think. <laughs> this is what it looks. This is packaging. Okay. I like to just take that and I blend it under my eyes and it's this color and I just like to put it under my eyes anywhere that my that my foundation might crease like around my nose line and like 
right here. Okay. I'm going to just take this brush and wipe it away. Okay. Next, we are going to do a slight contour. A slight, tiny bit. So, I like to start off by taking these. Um, the first one that I use is my CoverGirl. It's by CoverGirl. It's a, it's truly undercover concealer. I take a darker concealer. And I just go. And I don't go below the nose. I just go on the sides. Because I've noticed that when I do below the nose, for some reason, it makes my nose look bigger. I don't know why. Probably doing something wrong. But, yes. So I just go above the nose. Oh, by the way, the concealer I'm using is my NYX HD photo photo something sorry my balls a little rubbed off this is basically what i use it's by nyx um so yeah i really love nyx brand everything Then I'll contour my cheekbones as well. But since I'm not since I'm not wearing a ponytail right now, I have my hair just laying flat on my face. I don't really feel the need to contour my cheekbones. Um, so yeah, I'm going to next be taking my NARS bronzer. That's what it is. Over my nose where I put my CoverGirl concealer. I just like to take it like that. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Done. Bravo. Next, I'm going to be taking this again by Essence. This palette again by Essence. And then I'm going to just be taking this cover right here it's really beaten up because i love this cover so much you know and then i just i just drag it up i don't know why that's just it's something i always do it's really weird but yeah, I just, I don't know. and then i use it to also like bake on the sides because i feel like if you have like a palette with like a super light eyeshadow that you can just use it to bake, you know? It's about the same consistency. This is just like more solid and the actual powder that you use to bake is broken. And this is one solid <laughs> figure. Okay. Then we're just gonna blend it out from underneath the eyes right here. Alrighty, now we are almost done. As you can see, our nose is looking nice and contoured. Um, the only thing left is to add a little bit of lipstick. So I'm taking my Revlon Wonder Woman lipstick in the shade Amazon. I'm pretty sure it's either, it's her kind of people. And then, to finish off this look, oh. <laughs> and then just to end off this look. I'm going to take my NARS Clear Nice. It's like a really nice color. It's by NARS. It's a 
boom and that is the finished look thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much don't forget once again don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified every time i post a new video thank you so much for watching bye